a big proponent of and it's is something really important is forgiveness yes so can you tell how that kind of manifests in your life and like what would happen if you were going to let it go okay so there are many different directions that we need to come at this from because there is such an enormous misunderstanding about forgiveness yeah okay forgiveness doesn't mean that you need to forget it doesn't mean that you give permission for the same thing to happen over and over and over again what forgiveness really is is part of this whole reprogramming that you spoke of okay so we begin to recognize that um there is energy connected to every situation every circumstance every thought every belief so every emotion Mm -hmm. Right. And they all have a different frequency of energy. And that frequency of energy has the capability of creating only the things that are associated with that same frequency. Yeah. So we start to pay attention to what it is that we want to create. Now, the ego does this amazing job at bringing up all of that energy that really is looking to be healed yeah it's 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 actually a call for love and it's like waving its hands wildly and saying pick me pick me because it's all part of that light energy that's your true nature so as it comes up what typically we do is we look at it with anger and disdain and we feed it and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. But it also at the same time is not allowing light to flow through it. So it becomes denser besides. And when it starts to become dense, we can't move forward. We get stuck in the past. We get stuck in the muck of that. Yeah. So our job is, remember, the same as it is to become a love detective, to raise our vibrational frequency. So how do we do that? Well, we have to start to ask ourselves, is it possible for me to look at this differently? If it isn't, then you pivot. You find that spot on your own, like, healing circle. Yeah where you can be softer. So maybe it's just even focusing on what you want to create. And believe me, your ego is going to completely cooperate. I know the ego has this bad rap, but it's constantly bringing this stuff up that's really just a call for love. Yeah. So as this stuff comes up over in this direction, you say, okay, so what's really at the crux here? Um, if I can't forgive that person and I can't forgive that circumstance, what can I forgive? Yeah. And so remember, I, I talked about how everything has its own, you know, vibrational frequency. Yeah. Well, we have to look then at the belief. We have to look at the emotion. What can I do to just shift that energy? Yeah. So what I can guarantee is that under every circumstance that you are having difficulty in finding forgiveness for that person, that thing, that situation, what's really at hand is how it has fed a belief about yourself. Oh, yeah, that's good. That maybe you yeah. were yeah. unworthy or unlovable. Wow. Why didn't that person respect you? Why didn't they do this? Why didn't they do that? So go there yeah. and say, what do I have to do to heal that part of me? Yeah. And once you put the focus on you, it's almost like that other stuff is, is a byproduct. Yeah. So instead we come in and we say, none of this belief about me is true. I am this magnificent child of God. Yeah. I am 
love. How could I possibly be unlovable? It's not possible. How could I be unworthy of love? It's not possible. How? So then we start to feed the energy of loving ourselves. So from my perspective, the whole forgiveness process is probably the greatest act of self-love that we can gift ourselves. That's incredible. 